Hello everybody, Dr. Yu here with the next video from the Calgary Guide video series, The Complications of COPD. This is part of the COPD series of videos that we're producing here on the Calgary Guide video series. If you're interested in this topic, feel free to check out the other COPD videos. As always, please help us reach more viewers by liking the video just as it's starting out and by subscribing to my channel. With that, let's get started. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, causes its complications, or subsequent medical disorders, via a variety of mechanisms. First is lung inflammation. The inflammation of lung tissue results in goblet cell proliferation and increased mucus production, as well as the death of airway epithelium ciliated cells. This results in mucus being trapped inside the airways, which serve as a nidus for infection. Subsequently, this results in pneumonia, as well as acute exacerbations of COPD. For more about acute exacerbations of COPD, please see the Kilgore Guide slide and accompanying video on that topic. COPD also results in airway obstruction, reducing inhaled air in the alveoli and terminal bronchioles. That results in reduced oxygenation of the blood passing through the lungs, causing chronic hypoxemia, which results in the kidneys compensating by increasing erythropoietin, EPO, production. EPO results in an increased hemoglobin and red blood cell production, which results in polycythemia, a secondary cause of polycythemia, a greater than normal abundance of red blood cells in the blood. Hypoxic alveoli also cause the pulmonary arterioles perfusing them to reflexively vasoconstrict. Remember, it's a reflex, as in blood vessels can sense when alveoli don't have enough oxygen inside them and can constrict, which shunt blood towards those alveoli with greater oxygen content. But in COPD, since most alveoli in the lungs are hypoxic, hypoxic vasoconstriction occurs across the entire lung. Vasoconstriction, of course, will increase the blood pressure within the lung vasculature, resulting in pulmonary hypertension over time. The high blood pressure in the lungs will increase the workload of the right ventricle, which must pump against higher blood pressures. And to compensate, the right ventricle progressively hypertrophies and dilates, and over time, its output will become reduced. This results in core pulmonale, the failure of the right heart in isolation and not due to left heart failure. Additionally, since the chronic Systemic inflammation in COPD is effectively a hypermetabolic state that consumes much calories that results in patients oftentimes having a macronutrient deficiency. Furthermore, trouble with respiration lead to increasing inactivity and deconditioning. Both the hypermetabolic state and the deconditioning will result in wasting and muscle atrophy, which result in more inactivity and deconditioning, which further perpetuates the cycle of wasting and muscle atrophy. Another complication of COPD is that because of damaged lung tissue, the emphysematous bullae on the surface of the lung can often rupture, which results in inhaled air leaking into the pleural cavity and becoming trapped there, causing a pneumothorax. And finally, because of all these complications affecting a patient's life, the patient oftentimes feel a loss of control over their life and hopelessness for the future, which can result in depression. And that's all for the complications of COPD. For more on COPD or other medical topics, you can check out the other videos in the Calgary Guide video series. Again, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.